Hello, um, so apologies for the first video. I think um, I made a mistake and I was not feeling too well as well. I am suffering from cold. I, I think I selected two templates. Um, so it was on each other. So I'm going to show you the uh, proper way to do that in this video. Apologies for the first video. So you can disregard the first video and then follow this one. It's going to be simple and short. Yeah, so I'm going to share my screen right now. Okay, so if you can see my screen, and yeah, I was working on this reference, bear reference number five. So just when you log in, you come to edit. <coughs> Sorry, I'm suffering from cold. So you go to edit, then click on that reference number five. Click on edit and click on edit. The reference is already showing and open it in a new tab. Then <coughs> Yeah, so as it is, we need to clear this thing here. We just have to clear here. Yeah, then select insert a template and type wp four slash dag four slash site web. So first I didn't, um, I did not clear the first um, the URL then I inserted the template on it. So what I did is just um, the same process but I've just cleared the, um, that the URL. After opening it in a new tab, you don't need it again. Just clear it, then you select the thing that you need. I need a title, I need a URL. I can go to more, show more. Then I select button. <coughs> Excuse me. I select language, <coughs> publisher, <coughs> access date. Yeah. So these are the things that I need for my reference URL title, publisher, author, language. So for access date, then I go back to the Page, I can put copy here. The page title yeah, and the date. So access access date. I should have something like this. Yeah. Then author. I need to click on author. To click on language publisher, I would use um, City News. Room. City News. Room. Then title. I have to come and copy the title of the article. Now the URL, the same bear URL that I open in a new tab, I just copy it like this. Okay, so once it is, this is set like this, you just click on insert and watch how it appears. So this is how it looks, it's the right thing to do. I click on apply, apply, and I click on publish. So what did I do? I just fixed the reference. Uh, 
I click on publish. So yeah, if you go back now, you see that it is showing correctly. Everything has been fixed. I, you see the name of the author, the title. You don't need to see, there shouldn't be the URL still in show, like showing in here like this. So what did I do? I didn't do anything different like the first video, but I just cleared the old link that was there. So when I click on, when I click on the link, what did I do? Click on edit reference. So if I'm going to redo everything, I need to clear this one. Yeah, ideally this is where you find the bare reference when you are doing it for the first time, but because I've fixed it, this is how it will look like. So assume I'm coming to do the same process again. Unlike what I did, I need to clear this one. I just need to clear the whole of this that I now go to insert. So that was my mistake for the first time um, in the first video. So I hope this helps. Always make sure you, you open the URL in a new tab, then you clear this one before clicking on insert, template, and what site web. So this is the right thing to do. I hope this video helps. Thank you so much. If you have any question, please let me know. But yeah, one more thing. I need to show you how you can reuse um, references. So after publishing it, we have publish, and you want to reuse the reference again somewhere. Just come and click on edit again. Then click on insert. You hover to where you want the reference to show. So the first one was here. So I want to add that same reference here. I just come to insert, and I go to reuse reference. Reuse, then I select what? The reference, you scroll down, you see the number five, then I click on it. Very simple and straightforward. So I've reused the reference. You can reuse it on several um, pages or sentences. So thank you so much. I hope this video um, helps. And if you have, as always, if you have any question, let me know. Thank you so much. Bye.